An estimated 3,400 tons of solid waste is generated every day in Kenya's capital city, Nairobi, and its neighboring county, Kiambu. Poor waste management, coupled with rising urban pressure, have heightened the risks of environmental degradation in both regions. Meet Martin Mwaniki, aka Kifagio, who came up with an idea to curb the problem. Before Mwaneki, aka Kifagio, started garbage management, he used to unblock sewer systems in and around Udiru. He later came up with a mobile toilet project that was implemented at Udiru Roundabout. Due to environmental degradation, the county government of Kiambu saw it fit to eliminate the unprecedented dumping site which was located at Udiru Shopping Center. This prompted residents to handle their waste through their own ways and that is where Mwaneki saw an opportunity and seized it immediately. Hii ni waso moja nilitoka na ayo na tutiaza tutiaza kama kikundi wakati tulikuta pali pamoja kulikuwa kuna mwa watakataka kanjo wanataka kufunga ikuwe ikitumika kama pala pala sasa wale ndiyo tuliwaulisa wale watu wako hii within pale watakuwa kipereka takataka wapi ya wakatuambia kuna watu wana kitokesa wanzia kupepa takataka kwa hivyo tukajukua hiyo njukumu yetu tukaona sisi waja tuwanza hiyo kama kasi hivyo hapo nipo tulianza nambako waleo tumekua 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 diyo maana unawana tumifika pale tuko sasa One year later Mwaneki registered Team Kifagio MK Home Services after acquiring a space to temporarily store the garbage for collection using a bigger truck to the Dandora dumping site. As the demand grew, so did the need for additional manpower. Currently, Team Kifagio MK Home Services has more than 30 employees and more than 200 clients. Mwitu wangu ukubwa sana hile hiko ni kusaindia vijana. Vijana wasaindiwe ukikuta vijana kama sisi ambaye tumejipanga, ambaye tunatukona bidi kasini uredi unokile kitu tunapanya na tunangangana sana kupanya. Unjue ukirudi pande ingine unabudanga mfuko ndiyo nayo hiko chini. Kwa hivi tunasindwa kusonga pale tunataka kusonga. Tunasitrao sana kusonga. Kwa hivi ni mjomba ombi kupo sana in case ukikuta na vijana kama hawa mejipanga. Ni mzuri na wanadea mini mzuri. Ukiwa na uwezo wa kusaindiwa, wapate roli, waweze kusonga saindi, wakue wa kusaindiwa, wanaweza kusonga saindi. Na hiyo inaweza wa saindia sana. Tu nao, wabijaro vini wanachanga muka, tunapata kakitu ya kutumia pale, tunawandokea kwa miandarate, tunawandokea kwa mambo singine, tunifanya mbaya mbaya, wakai tumekutana hapa, tunafanya kasi, tunaweza kujirisa, na kulisa kwe tupia. Mwiko na vijana kama that, lakini ayo siyo mwiso wa wale vijana tunataka, tunataka tukue na vijana saindi ya miyatano. As a way of giving back to the community, MK Home Services started working with police stations to eliminate garbage management issues within the stations. So far, Kabete and Kikuyu police stations have been equipped with permanent dustbins. Polisi karika kituo cha polisi Kabete hawangeweza kuficha furaha yao in baada ya kutunikiwa eneo la kutupia taka. Sio mara ya kwanza kushirikiana na nipo wakakuja nei waso tunaweza jenga a dustbin ile tutakuwa tuna dispose of mabaki ya ushafu Kifagio Garbage Collector Group has constructed a closed dustbin at Kikuyu Police Station Kikuyu Sub County to store solid waste hiyo takataka ndio ina ina extend the damage ya korela the group claims weekly cleanup exercises in communities across the county will reduce garbage and unsanitary conditions that breed cholera Kifagio Garbage Collector Director Martin Mwaniki called upon the Kiambu County government to enforce the law of installing closed dustbins to reduce garbage spreading all over due to improper garbage storage system. Wakati huko wa compound ni wakati wa kujengewa dustbin kwa kila mtu mwenye yako na flat yake. Yenye imesindi watu 10 kuendelea, ni better wakue na dustbin. Ningeomba wacha vile wamefanya kwa polisi peke yake. Wafanye hata within the town. Kama vitu kama hizi zinaosakua simejengwa kwa town, tunaenda tukitupa, sinakua contendi ya siwezi kupita na upepo. So itasaidia ilia yetu. Beside building permanent dustbins in these police stations, the Ukifagio also plant trees in every police station that they clean to make sure that they increase the forest cover within the county.
As with any other business, Team Kifagio MK Home Services has its own challenges. Mimi nasikianga wakinita Kifagio. Lakini mimi mwenyewe najitaga Big Dog. Mwenene Kenya kimevanya nikuja siku ya leo karibu na wewe ni kuzungumzia. Nimekuja karibu na wewe ndiyo ni kuambie sinda zetu kidogo. Mwenene sinda zangu kidogo ni ati mimi ni mwanyikazi huku. Kazi na vanya mingi mwenene kwa hii kaunti. Chariji yangu mwenene ni kidogo sio kukwa. Na chariji yangu ni ati ile kazi na vanya na vanya kazi mingi. Lakini sasa imepika pale inanitaji. Inanitaji ni kuwe na roli mzuri. Dio niweze kusaidia wale watu niko karibu na wao. Wale watu ambaye wako nyuma yangu. Lakini sasa si unajua mkubwa niki kuambia tu ukumbuke mambo ya hapa chini chini. Fine kuna kuanga. Unaweza kuwa kazi uko na mingi. Yes, na bidi uko nayo. Lakini ujikute kwa mfuko haujaweza kuweka hako kakitu kukupeleka hiyo levu ilingane na ile mambo unafanya. Wakati ni umevika ni kuja kwako unisaindie kidogo tu. Na sababu mwenye unasaindia hako na migu ya kutembea ni kukua mamekua makidogo hafta kumusaindia kidogo ni safari ya daendelea na ayo hata pa kipale ta kutamukua mua mnene vetu. Kwa hivyo diyo maani mekuja tu ni kuombe utusaindie na kutufungulia njia ya kupata roli. Na roli ni ya kupepa takataka mnene. Eitha ni kuwa roli. Tuwelekese tu. Tutachukua roli hapa. Na umekisua awa watu kwa mepata hile roli. Tutalipa. Situ kona pesa. Lakini pesa yetu ni hile tumekuambia hiko kwa makuja. Kwa hivi pesa yetu ni hile inakuja pole pole. Mwenene ukitusaidia kupata gari kama ni naruni, tusaidia vile tutaipata. Sisi wenyeo tutaendelea kulipa. Mbola tuko na gari tuko kwa mikono yetu. Ikuwe naruni ya serikali, sisi tutaidipa baka tulipe yote, baka, baka discount tutapeana sisi. Kama ni ambanki, hiyo suguli yote ukituachia tutafanya. Ile kitu tunaomba tu ni kutuonyeza jia ndiye ndiye. Uko kuingine, ata sisi wenyewe tunajua kurudiza mkono mwenene. Na kurudiza mkono kwetu ni vitendo. Senye utaona, kuna wenye watakuwa wakitaka ukuja kwa ofisi yako uwasaindie. Lakini kablo wafike, watakutana na sisi. Tutawambia hakuna aje ya kusumbua mwenene. Ata kuwa, uyo wakati utakuwa na kasi mingi wale wanzi tawasaidia mwenene. Kwa hivi hiyo itakuwa ikupikia kama story. Mkupuwa wetu kulingana vile awa vijana wameamua kukua vijana wabidi. Tunakuomba kama ingiwesekana mkupuwa wetu utupatie msaanda ukiwa umetokana na serikali. Tutakuomba utupatie kasemu. Kale kasemu tunaweza kuwa tukufanyia kasi kwa njia ya kusema ni asanti kwa hile umetufanya. Sisi tuko lendi kukusaindia kwa kasemu kandogo kulingana uweso wetu. For example ni kama governor wa Nairobi Sakanja. Tunaweza kufanya kangemi kwa soko. Iyo miaka yote tutakuwa tukiripa hile roli. Na iyo kasi tukua tukufanya itakuwa njia moja ya kusema ni asanti kwa hile kitendo ulitufanya. Ukisikia hii yombi yetu, unene tunawesa sukuru. Kama utatoa msaanda ukiwa umetokana msaanda wewe ni wewe mwenyewe mbinafsi. Kama ukona nyumba, simevika dhati kuteremuka chini. Tukolende kupepa takataka kwa hile miaka yote tutakuwa tukiripa hile roti. Tutasukuru sana na mtaendelea kuchapa kasi. Besides offering jobs to the youth, MK Home Services has arrangements for its employees' retirement. As you can see here, one of the employees retired after working for four years and thus the team bought him a tuk-tuk to help him earn a living. 
Such a retirement plan is meant to help the employees achieve the dream businesses they had before joining MKO services.